Hello, my dear scholars. Welcome to our channel, Man to Machine. Last video, we have seen introduction to computational linguistics, and now we are going to discuss about applications of computational linguistics. The major applications of computational linguistics are first one corpus development, second one passing of language data, third one machine translation, fourth one computer aided morphological analyzer, fifth one parts of speech tagging, and last one information retrieval and information extraction. Corpus Development A corpus is a collection of language data either spoken or written in a given language. Corpus has generated a number of research methods attempting to track a path from data to theory. Corpus has a 3A perspective. First one annotation, second one abstraction, third one analysis. First, what is annotation? Annotation is a consist of the application of a schema to text. Annotation may include structural marker, pure tagging, parsing, and other representation. Second one is abstraction. It is consist of the translation of terms in the scheme to a text in a theoretically motivated model or data set. Example for rule learning for pass. And last one, analysis. It is consist of statistical analysis, manipulating and generalizing from the data set. Corpus has two types. First one, text and second one, spoken. A text corpus is a large and structured set of text. The speech corpus or spoken corpus is a database of speech audio files and the text transcription. In spoken corpus are used to do a research in the phonetic, conversation analysis, dialectology, and validation of linguistics rules. A corpus is one such a database. Corpora is a plural form of corpus. Then text corpus. A text corpus is a large and a structured set of text. It is used for statistical analysis, hypothesis testing, checking occurrences, and validating linguistic rules on a specific universe. Then, types of corpus. A corpus may contain text in a single language is called monolingual corpus. Text in a two language is called bilingual corpus. Text in a three language is called multilingual corpus. Then, annotation corpus. Corpus annotation assigns a pure stack and morphological features to each word. For example, annotation involves deciding whether a word is a noun or verb and if it is inflected for masculine or feminine. Annotation corpus involves the data about data. Tagging is the process by which the material in the corpus is marked or coded to make in a searchable form. Some examples for corpus are American National Corpus, Bank of English, British National Corpus, and Google Ngram Corpus. Then, corpus linguistics started as a field of computational language research when the people started collecting large quantity of linguistic data in the text or spoken form. What are the research and analysis activity of corpus? Then identifying the frequency analysis, keyword in context search, concordance of a given document, indexing, searching and sorting, counting and n-gram mapping, passing a given text. Parsing is the process of analyzing a string of symbols either in natural language or computer languages according to the rule of formal grammar. The grammar for natural language is ambiguous and difficult sentences have multiple possible analysis. It refers to determine the functions of words in the input sentence. Getting an efficient and unambiguous phrase of natural language has been a 
subject of wide interest in the field of artificial intelligence over the past 50 years. The parser often uses a separate lexical analyzer to create the tokens from the sequence of input character. The parser consists of the lexical analyzer, syntactical analyzer, and parse tree generation. The lexical analyzer creates a token, then syntactical analyzer creates a parse tree. Parsing is the process of taking a string and a grammar and writing a parse tree over the trees for that string. In computing, a parser is one of the components in the interpreter or compiler that check for the correct syntax and build a data structure. The first stage is the token generation or lexical analysis by which the input language stream is split into the meaningful symbols defined by a, a set of grammar or a regular expression. For example, the given word I am working is split into the four tokens I, am, or and ing. The next stage is the parsing or syntactic analysis which is checking for the tokens from the allowable expression, type validity, proper declaration of identifier. The finally, the semantic parsing or analysis which is working out the assigns and the verifying the suitable meaning of the given tokens. Machine translation automatically translate text from one human language into another. In a large multilingual society like India, there is a great demand for translation of documents from one language to another language. Machine translation is the application of computers to the translation of text from one natural language into another natural language. As India is a large multilingual society, different states have different regional languages, hence for proper communication, there is a need for machine translation. Various machine translation systems have been developed in India using various such as machine translation system for Indian languages, Anusaraga system among Indian languages, Mantra, machine assisted translation tool for Indian languages, Anglo Bharati and Anu Bharati, then Indian languages to Indian language machine translation system. The quality of translation depends on the combination of three factors. The first one, translation program or translation software. Second is the bilingual dictionary and third is the original document. Some machine translation softwares are Google Translate, the Google Translate, and Beta developed by Google Chrome, CrossMonkey developed by Firefox, Ping Translation is developed by Microsoft. Some problems in machine translation system. The first one, the translation of low resource language files, translation across the different domains, translation of informal documents, the translation into the morphologically rich languages and ambiguity. A machine translation system consists of linguistics, description of the source and target language and an algorithm for using the dictionary and the grammar. The complete process of machine translation consists of the following three stages. The first analysis the text in the source language. The second conversion from the structure of text into the source language into the target language. Then third is the to generate the target language. The task of machine translation is highly complex in the sense that it involves the identification of parts of speech tagging or understanding the grammar and the large amount of data and the mapping from the source language to the target language. So this is the machine translation for Indian languages.
then morphological analyzer morphological analyzer is the study of internal structure of the word formation computational morphological analysis is in the process of splitting the words to the morphemes morphological analyzer will return its root or stem words along with its the grammatical information computational morphology deals with developing theories and techniques for computational analysis and synthesis of word forms the morphological analyzer return its classification of word categories like noun verb adjectives and etc applications for computational morphology is tokenization spelling and grammar checking stems word formations search engine text generation and text to speech and etc computational morphology deals with the developing and developing theories and techniques for computational analysis and synthesis of word forms the computational morphology has the two stage the first one is in the analysis and second one is in the synthesis analysis is carried on to analysis for the input data synthesis for generating the morphological parsing and classification of different word categories then parts of speech tagging parts of speech tag can be used to identify the specific category of your word parts of speech tagging or also called grammatical tagging or word category identification is the process of marking up the word in a text as corresponding to the particular parts of speech based on its definition and its context the parts of speech explain how a word is used in a sentence there are eight main parts of speech nouns pronouns adjectives verbs adverbs preposition conjunction and interjection annotation is the process of assigning codes for indicating the parts of speech to the lexical and textual units found in the corpus parts of speech annotation is needed for certain reason it is used by the computers to predicate the parts of speech for the textual element from the context there are many challenges in parts of speech tagging like foreign words ambiguities and grammatical inputs and etc parts of speech tagging is the initial stage of information extraction summarization machine translation speech conversation and etc parts of speech tag can also is known as the word classes or morphological classes or the lexical tags to choose the correct grammatical tag for word on the basis of linguistic features information retrieval and information extraction this is a field of computer science that deals with automated storage and retrieval of documents is called information retrieval information retrieval is concerned with the representation searching storage organization and manipulation of data usually information retrievals with the retrieval of textual information in the form of semi structured or unstructured format Information extraction is the task of automatically extracting structured information from unstructured and semi-structured data. Recent activities in multimedia document processing like automatic annotation and content extraction out of images, audio, and video can be seen in the information extraction. the task of information extraction involves extracting meaningful information from unstructured text data and presenting it in a structured format recent activities annotation and content extraction out of image audio or video could be seen as the information extraction information extraction involves trying to discover a specific information from a set of documents Some terms related to information extractions are document collections terms and query. Information retrieval can also be defined as the way of finding materials of an unstructured nature of documents. Typical 
text extraction includes extraction entities categorization content clustering content fact extraction and relationship extraction we are winding up the lecture i hope this video will be useful and informative for young scholar see you soon with another video stay healthy and happy thank you